In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can create this 3D snake effect using Element 3D within After Effects. Now, this was a request from one of you guys, and unfortunately, it was a dragon in your request, but I couldn't find the proper model for it, so I figured a snake is close enough. Now, I do want to keep this video rather short, but there's going to be a lot of small details and tips that you could use, such as adding reflections on the floor, like you see here where the snake moves and the reflection are reflecting on the floor, adding glowing eyes. So, if you can, make sure you watch all the way through. Okay, so I'm gonna be working with this clip here because I prefer it. Uh, I couldn't find a better one, but this should work fine. Now, since we are using Element 3D, you might wanna go ahead and track with the 3D camera since it is 3D, but in my case, there is no movement here, so I'm gonna be sticking to the 2D tracker. So I'm gonna create a null, and I'm gonna go into my tracker here, track motion, and this should track pretty easily, like so. Let's track forward. Okay, I'm gonna apply this to the null, and hit OK. And first thing we want to do is let's create an element layer. And we do want to create a camera because we are using a 3D effect. And let's add element to this layer. Now I am going to be using a 3D animation of a snake that I found, which I will be leaving a link in the description for. And I've recently made a tutorial on how to import 3D animations into element. So if you don't know how to, make sure you go and have a look at this. And if you watch the tutorial, I basically just chose a section of this whole animation here. So when the snake rises up, and bytes. And now let's go into element, click on file, import, 3D sequence. And as I said, I've already prepared the sequence here. So I'm gonna select it and hit open. Okay. Now, as you can see, we've got the snake here inside element with the animation, and it seems to be working great. Let's hit okay. And let's start positioning the snake behind our car. We wanna make sure it looks nice when it's rolling in as well. So something around here. Okay, this is looking nice and we'll have the bite like so. Okay, now let's go ahead and hide the element layer. Let's go ahead and create a solid here. And I'm gonna put it above my car and hide it. And basically we wanna create a shape to rotoscope behind the car. So I'm just gonna quickly create a mask here. Okay, and now since we have 2D tracking data here, we can go ahead and attach the solid to the null and it should stay in place pretty well. We can set a keyframe at the beginning and end and make sure everything is aligned in case it moved like the mirror here. So I'm just gonna quickly adjust this and you can go ahead and use the roto brush as well, but it really depends on your shot and how much movement there is. Now let's rename the solid to matte and I'm gonna put it on above my element layer, unhide element and make it alpha inverted to this layer. And let's actually feather the mask just by a bit. So we've basically made a mask around the car and now our snake is behind it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start making the snake look much better and fit into the shot. So first thing, we're gonna go back into element. Now this snake comes with textures, but if you want to, you can make it gold or whatever else there might be, like the example I was linked before, but I am gonna be using the textures provided with the model. So let's go in here and I'm gonna relink these images. Now these come with the model, so you can go ahead and re-import them. And let's just make a few adjustments here. So make the glossiness and reflectivity a bit. And let's go ahead and create a plane. And we'll scale this up by a lot, like so. And let's drop it under our snake, like so. And on the material of this plane, let's go into glossiness here and set it to 80. Let's set the reflectivity to maybe 25. If we scroll all the way down here, we want to make sure matte shadow and matte reflection is enabled. So now if we go into the plane model here and under this reflection icon, we set the mode to mirror, you can see we're basically getting a reflection of the snake from this plane. And you can increase this by increasing the reflectivity here as much as you need. So now, as you can see, we've got the snake reflection on the floor here, which is matching pretty well. It looks really nice. And we've got the texture of the snake as well. Now let's make a few adjustments to match the shot even more. So if we go into ambient occlusion here and enable it, let's set this to about 10. And you can see this adds some nice shadows on the ground here, which makes it look even more realistic. Let's go into the physical environment and under override layer, we're gonna select our car shot. So basically it's reflecting the snake and just have a few adjustments here to match your shot as much as you need to. We'll also go to the light here and we can set one of these presets. Now, let me show you how we can make the eyes of the snake glow. So most models come with textures like so, which we can change things around with. So let's drag this image into a new composition. 
And what we want to do is create a mask around our eye here. So we're going to isolate it pretty roughly. And let's create a black background and drop it under our eye. Just going to feather the mask a bit. And we can go ahead and export this as an image. So I'm going to save this as a JPEG. And now if we go back into element, select our snake material and under illumination here, we can select the texture we just created of this eye and scroll down to illumination, make sure it's set to white. And if we increase the intensity now, you can see only the eye lights up. And something I like to do is duplicate the layer here with the mask. And if we go down to output and select illumination, you can see, let me hide this, you can see we're isolating only the eyes. And now if we add a glow to this and set the layer to additive, you can see we got the nice glow around the eyes and you can do this in any color you want to. So all you have to do is make sure you change the color on here. So that is just a nice little trick on how to make those eyes glow. And the only other thing I've added to the shot is some shake and some motion blur to make things look nicer. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.